Hi, welcome back to Shine from Fibby Days. Super excited to show you this fun little resin project with actually really elegant results. I purchased in bulk some of these lovely frames that came from the range, which is a UK homeware store. And I always go in there looking at how I can upcycle or use things that are of a good quality, but still add some artwork in there. Now these are porcelain with a glass frame. So my resin is put onto the glass frame. When you open the back area, the glass is stuck to move that uh, the back. So you can remove your paper like you can do with any frame, <laughs> uh, but do take the time to glue around that to make sure you don't get any leakage because the glass doesn't come out totally. You've got to work on it with the piece. Now that was part of the fun, but that was also part of the complexity because you've got the little things at the back. So when you are trying to make sure they're level, how can you do that and still work with them? So this video is going to show you me working on two and you'll get to see the end result. So from the range, recommend you do anything like that. A fun project to create some elegant results. The products I'm using, pretty similar to what I've been using recently. I add some glitter and the glitter I'm going to be adding is from Arteza and that's the holographic turquoise. I wanted to have some really nice shimmer coming out in my piece and that added a lot of, I don't know, sparkle, brightness, just a feature. And then I also used my Colour Me Happy Ocean Blue. I've had to put it in my own container because it eroded the, the top and it broke, so I've had to put it in there. And then I also had, the first layer had the blue-green Peebo, but then I came on the second layer and lightened it with my blue turquoise. And you'll see that throughout my process. And casting craft white for the foam. Now the reason I did two layers is I love to have at least two layers with ocean to create that depth and sense of movement. And even though you feel that you're covering it up, you're not because it still shows through. And I think it takes a good piece of art to a quality piece of art. And also it, the second layer helped create a dome, which you're gonna see in that. But a fun project, a little bit of fingers and thumbs. You can see I got a little bit of resin on the outside, uh, but managed to pull that back. But I will speed up this process so you can see, I've got my respirator on protecting my lungs, but I'm gonna voice over it for you and talk you through what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. But thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome. Um, if you want to showcase your art, join my Facebook group. I've also recently gone onto TikTok and having a little bit of fun, uh, but that's another way of displaying my art with you and also some funny little sketches. Well, I think they're funny. Anyway, I'm shy and I'm digressing, but I do want to mention a artist for you. If you've not already met her before, make sure you do pop out and see uh, Jules Madison Artpreneur. I'll put her name uh, down in the link down here for your plug. So please make sure that you check her out. She's an amazing artist. She did some uh, mini resin pieces around Christmas time. And um, it was at that time I decided to go out and purchase some, but then I've only just started working on them. So it was inspired by her. But if you've not seen her work, go over and see her channel. She's the most elegant, beautiful pieces. And yeah, I just highly recommend if you've not seen her channel. Anyway. But I've already said thumbs up, so we'll forget that. Let's get on with this. Hope you're safe wherever you are in the world and sending love to you and your family. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Much love. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that you're going to sit back, relax and enjoy my creative process. As I mentioned multiple times throughout my videos, my processes are just my processes. It doesn't mean it has to be your process. So go with whatever works with you. Be willing to try to experiment, fail and find some successes. I'll do my best to talk out loud as to what I'm doing here. If you have seen my videos before, you'll understand some of the colours I'm working with in process. If you haven't and you want a more detailed video on how to work with resin, check out video 107. It's a real tutorial. I think that's the word I'm trying to use. Okay, what I want to talk to you about is these picture frames. They are a really amazing picture frame. The downside to the picture frame is the back is sealed onto the frame, so you can never fully remove it, which means where the stands are and the little um, hooks, it causes the picture frame to not be level. So you can see I've used my cake silicone coasters 
molds, not coasters, <laughs> and my lollipop sticks, as I call them, to try and balance out the level. So I did get a spirit level. Unfortunately, you're never going to get 100% flat. But I got it as near to it, but you had to keep your eye on what you were doing. So less is more and apply it a little bit at a time. So the products I'm using are the ones I've been using in my recent oceans. It's a little bit of the uh, casting craft for the white. The glitter is the Arteza glitter. I also have the Colour Me Happy Ocean Blue and the Peepo Peebo Turquoise. Sorry, I'm just mindful I can hear myself speak. <laughs> it's really weird, but I'm going to keep working with this. And so my board's been level. I would recommend that you use a um, glue gun and go inside the picture frame and delicately seal the glass because even though this the glass was sealed resin's always going to find that one little hole now it did have a little bit of leakage but it didn't come out behind the back and i'll show you at the end of the video luckily it was it behaved fairly well but i would recommend you sealing it because you wouldn't want to waste these frames and you don't want to waste any resin now i do come in with two layers on this and I'm just learning as I'm going I'm going with intuition now you'll notice I've got my camera recording where I'm doing I've just gone to TikTok as another social medium way another way should I say uh, to show my art to a different audience within social media hence why I am doing a voiceover because I needed to get my camera going so it's like rubbing your tummy and patting your head all at the same time <laughs> anyway back to what I'm doing now the area I'm working on as you can see is a very small porcelain picture frame it looks very stunning and very elegant so it's a really rewarding project for you to do for yourself for gifts for people or even to sell them they they just look elegant I think that's the word I'm going to use and it's a very shallow area that I'm working in so you don't need a lot of resin I think I used a maximum of 75 mils of resin in here between both the projects um, on each layer and I love the colors I think going back if I was to do them again I'd probably get the colors to be a little bit lighter and you may be able to see by looking but one of the picture frames the wrong way around but I'd not worked it out in my head so I'd got where I envisaged this skyline to be at the bottom on one area is not the top I did correct this on the second layer anyway um, I I just wanted to create an illusion of the ocean or a wave without it being very specific you know me I feel very relaxed and connected to the ocean and with all the stress that's going on in the world I seem to be navigating to these tranquil colors and and this feeling because that's re-energizing me um, but the glitter really adds some value as well depending on where you're looking at it it sparkles the casting craft as I'm applying that wasn't too sure how much to apply uh, at this stage a, a little goes a long way with casting craft and any white within ocean and so I decided to just go slowly and work out was the balance of color that I've got correct and did I need to apply any more because I'm I was really mindful that when I start to add my heat gun I didn't want the resin to splash all over the porcelain and that was the challenge but also the rewarding part about these picture frames is the challenge is that you can't remove it from anywhere so you're working within that area so less is more take your time and build it up slowly and I did not at one point get some splash on the side you'll see that but some alcohol wipes save the day running out of those though now anyway I'm Sharon I'm digressing and yeah at this stage I still not noticed that my picture's the wrong way up but the process is the same apply your color do it um, in little stages remove any air bubbles come in and apply your heat gun create a little bit of movement and then see what you're left with and then fix up what you're not happy with and come back anyway I'm going to allow you to relax now and enjoy some music and I'll come back and talk again in a little while.
So you saw me pick up my picture frame there. That's because I noticed one that I'd got my blue, the dark and the light the wrong way up, but also to try and get some of that blending and that softness with the white. And like I said, because it's not a perfect level area, you're working in it and doing the best you can. So I've obviously worked out that it's the wrong way up and I'm starting to try and apply my light uh, and the dark at the top area now to push that down so that that represents sort of a skyline-ish. Forgot to mention as well, the resin that I'm using in this piece is craft resin. Craft resin is a beautiful resin to work with. I tend to prefer to work with that one and Mastercast. Uh, they're local to me, so easy to get hold of. And they have like a media, medium, medium? <laughs> consistency and I'm more of a lover of that rather than the very thin uh, or the very thick the reason being you get a happy medium it holds the resin and the pigments and the shapes I think a little bit better if you want to create art now there is always a place for all types um, of resin and if you're doing a flush coat or anything like that where well, you just need that very thin piece Obviously, the ones that are very thin would, you know, appeal to you. But everybody prefers working with different things. And I think it's what you get used to and what you know and, and what results you want out of them. Um, I'm just working my way through, fixing this bottom piece. And with the heat gun, the best thing I can say is don't hold it in one place long flick it backwards and forwards for your movement you want it to warm up but you just basically want to get in and get out as quick as possible one so that you're not going to burn your resin but two you're not going to make it too fluid and lose that shape so there is a very fine balance and you can tip it either way very easily uh, and you get get the feel of it by how the resin's moving or uh, from a time point of view uh, and obviously when it's scotchy <laughs> you will start to see uh, the heat coming off that resin uh, so just be mindful of that and you can see I'm trying to balance not splashing my resin around too much because I'm trying to protect that porcelain area there and um, like I said at the beginning apply a little and build it up I knew that I was going to be coming in with a second layer so to me it was just about getting the shape right understanding how it's going to work in here and then come and apply that second layer so they can create that dome and depth and there you can see I've just put them to sleep so we're coming back now for uh, level two so pretty similar making sure everything's level I'm applying my Arteza glitter uh, the Peebo um, I say, <laughs> is it aquamarine oh my god Sharon remember it turquoise got there in the end and the color me happy pigment the blue green and I'm going to apply them pretty similar this time I've added less pigment because I wanted it to be more diluted now you might think oh I really enjoyed that bottom piece uh, well you choose to stop whenever it suit, suits you but the layers do see through so even though it looks quite dark on here when you hold it up and in a natural light you can see what's underneath it and would I make them slightly less color the second layer probably but I just enjoy the end result that I've got and I'm really happy and that's where it is it's a journey go and experiment explore until you get the effects you want uh, I probably would have done the ocean blue slightly um I would have probably only put one pigment drop in there but when you're working with such small amounts of resin uh, it's hard to get it right but you can definitely see even there that the underneath flare is coming through and it really does add to that movement so the only thing I'm really going to say now for the remainder is slowly apply it and pull it around you can see I'm doing it very delicate because when you're creating a dome effect with resin there's a balance again that once you apply that heat you don't want it to leak and overspill and, and go into that picture frame this was more just applying it dragging it to where I wanted to be and then same as before but just slowly slowly and I really really do love this project and I recommend that you have it give it a go and let me know how you go if I have influenced your art or your color palette 
um, tag me in your work so I can see what you've done because that really does give me so much satisfaction and joy to see how I've helped influence your creativity and also you could join my Facebook group which is all in my descriptions and showcase your art it's a small group but it's a really beautiful group where we get to display our art and support each other and I'm going to leave you to enjoy some more music and relax and I'll come back and show you what I do with the leftover resins. Hope you're enjoying so far. Remember, thumbs up, subscribe, share, comments are always welcome.
I'm feeling very relaxed now. I hope that you are too. And I hope that you have enjoyed seeing my process. I did speed up the second layer by three just to save some of your time. And you can see with my leftovers, I have cre uh, not created, I have brought over some mold. And this is just an exquisite mold. The end result in these, they're just so delicate and detailed and thin. And I've got quite a few ideas of what I can use for future projects so always keep your molds nearby there is always an opportunity to use them for overspills or things that you've got left over so I tried using the one now here uh, with some of the bits but you know that one didn't work out okay but I'd got nothing to lose I popped it in there I hope for a miracle I mean it's pretty but uh, meh. <laughs> uh, so of the three that was the only one I would say fail but is it failing when you're experimenting? I don't know. Anyway, the butterfly molds are very thin, so you only needed a little bit, but I did like the effects I got from adding a little bit of white first, then a little bit of the lighter color, and then coming in with a darker color. And I suppose with these molds, I was a bit unsure. Do I leave them so they're domed or do I have them flat? So the main one at the back I left domed and the other two I scraped it off and it sort of took the whole of the resin out because it's so thin. So you see me go and apply that again. Uh, but super excited with the end results of those. You can see my other two pieces are there resting beautifully uh, the right way. <laughs> Uh, and uh, they did cure exactly as you see them there and you may question you see that I apply my heat gum and I blow it around and then I come in and then I leave some stripes of white now I think that that adds value the reason why that casting craft seeps under your pigments and reddings and resin and bleeds out a little bit so even though it looks quite harsh to start with it does blend in but no ocean wave or foam is one color you're always going to get shades of lightness and darkness and the color coming through so i think that to me purpose not to me purposely to me personally i enjoy that effect and if you don't want to do that absolutely fine uh, but that's why i added that other bit there and i think that this is really it i think you've heard me talk a lot you're going to hear me talk at the end with a review but i just wanted to say thank you so much for all your support thank you so much for the people that have watched this whole process because that's a really great way of thanking me the artist for sharing my processes and my work and there is always a lot of time and effort that goes with to try and create the video that most people are going to want to see uh, and to get that balance of enough detail or not enough but give me your comments do you enjoy seeing this kind of video do we, do we enjoy seeing me in the top corner actually creating the art as well as the overview uh, of what I'm doing and the voiceover uh, just keep feeding back to me because that helps me think differently and grow as a person and artist and editing is not my strength I've learned this just so that I can do videos with you um, anyway I'm Sharon I'm digressing sincere thank you from the bottom of my heart i hope that you're safe and well i hope that you come back and visit me shortly uh thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome and i hope that you have an amazing day
So we are here for review time and I'm going to take you in and show you how cute these pieces are. So these are the frames that I'm referring to. So you can stand them alone and you can hang them up there. That's where you just see a tiny little bit of that resin uh, that came through, which is what I was referring to in the video. But if you were to use your um, glue gun and just run it around the edge, that would prevent it. But when you look at these, I should really show you in the daylight. It looks like the night sky and stars and an ocean wave lapping up. But those colours and you've got a nice doming sort of happening there bring you in and show you the other end and you can see that first layer that i did there so in certain lights not that one there <laughs> you can see so much depth and movement and again night sky in an ocean and that beautiful doming that you get coming around and i think these are elegant frames so many possibilities and I'll take you in closer to have a look at these butterflies that I created. And I just think these are angelic. So many opportunities. I mean, you could stick them on there. Not that I'm going to do. But look at the detail on those butterflies. And they're very delicate. And Sorry, my nails from all the art in. So that's the back. And that's the front beautiful number one number two is wing at the end just to the right not quite and three i just love the delicateness of these and those colors where you've got the little white and the different color blues i think lend each of the nice the only one i'm not really happy is this one where i put the blobs of white in oops and the different colors and the glitter it's pretty bleh. um but i don't like to waste resin so i'm always trying different things with any of the leftovers but thumbs up subscribe share comments are always welcome and i hope you see the potential in these little gifts here i think the little gems anyway i'm shine i'm digressing i will see you on the next video